up guys welcome back to another episode of the wood rat uh, today I think what we're going to do is figure out how we're going to attach our new four inch dust collection to the thickness planer all right guys here's the plan uh, this is what I currently have on the planer and it's just a box that I built that slides over the hood, screws to it, and then I have my dust collection coming out the side, okay? Um, you know, it, it worked okay. It's not the best setup. You know, it, tend, it, it, it tended to build up over on one side after a while, and it, you know, being two inch instead of four, it just wasn't pulling chips out fast enough. So, you know, I've got, I went and bought a uh, Win brand dust collection system the other day and I did a review on that if you want to go back and check that out and then I also bought a dust collection kit accessory kit from Harbor Freight so to, to be able to hook all this up so we're going to tackle this one by one and I think today we're going to work on this I think I've got it figured out what I'm going to do. Now, typically you would run your hose in. The only thing this dust collection system is really going to, to accommodate is my planer and my jointer right next to it. Um, other things, other small tools and all that will work off my shop back just fine. So, you know, I'm gonna have the dust collection is going to be in a little small lean-to on the back of the building. It's gonna come through the wall down here and pick up the planer and the jointer. Um, now, typically what you would do is you would run the line in and you're gonna come off of that with a Y, one heading to the jointer, and the other one heading to the planer. Sorry about that. And, uh, so after you came out of that Y, what you would do is you would go through what they call a blast gate, okay? And that's so when you're not using this tool, you can shut that off so it doesn't take away from the suction of the other tool that you are using. If you're using the jointer and not the planer, then you would have this closed off so you could use the jointer. If I'm using the planer and not the jointer, I would shut off the blast gate on the jointer, okay? But since I'm only running these two machines off of that, and it's just one straight run in, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another box just like this, probably make it about double the length, it's going to mount the same way, only I'm going to cut out a little bit of this shield here, double the size of the box, and I'm going to have this blast gate set right down in the top center so that I can just open and close it right here on top okay and what that's going to do is that's going to put this right in the center so I don't have build up along the sides that it can't pick up and also when I build this bigger box I'm going to and put some angled pieces of wood in there that come back like this okay from the edges so that they come in toward that center so that all the chip coming out of there is going to hit those and be deflected to the center where it can be picked up by this four inch hose right here. So I think that's what we're going to do. Okay guys, so here's, uh, here's the concept. This is what I've gotten done so far. I've built the box pretty much like the one I had on here. It butts up to it here, and on the bottom it's flat up against the machine as well, so it's completely sealed off, okay? The chips come flying out of here, obviously, and I put these angled pieces of wood in here so that everything in here is being thrown to that, to that center right there. And then the center right there is where I'm going to have this blast gate mounted to the top of the box. So that right in the corner, everything that comes into this box is thrown to the center right here is where this four inch blast gate will pick it up. So 
So all I gotta do is get this in the center. I'm gonna be a little mark. Okay. See a little mark on there? Okay, now I know I need to cut out just a little bit more than that mark. Just a little bit of that shroud right there. And then I know that my plastic will be able to set down in there. Okay, so we pretty much have it completed, except for I'm going to paint black. Um, but there it is. It will get screwed into this guard here, here, and here. Nice snug tight fit all the way around. Have the baffles in there to bring it to the center. And my blast gate is right here. When I'm not using it, I just close it off. When I'm using it, I open it back up and you got back. And the nice thing about this is the way I had my other one, when it would clog up on me, I would literally have to take the screws out, take it off to clean it out. This one here, I remove the hose, open that up, and I can clean it out right here with a vacuum. No problem at all. I don't have, I no longer have to take it off the machine. So really, really, really nice. I like it a lot. So let's get this thing painted, and I'll show you the, uh, the finished product. All right, there it is. It's all painted. It's all mounted. I have my dust collector and hose hooked up to this temporarily. Uh, until we get the entire system installed. Uh, but it works pretty good. As you can see, I got the blast gate here. You know, I keep it closed when I'm using uh, other equipment and when I get ready to use the planer, just open that up right there. We're gonna fire this thing up and show you 